Working for position, he got to the block, cut inside, and that's what he's got to do. Continue to move, use his strength, but get deep in the post and in the lane where he can operate best. Ryan Gomes had a slow start, 16 of his 18 in the second half, including five down the stretch, but it was the facilitation of Josh Majet that got things going. And now he's got his squad on the brink of a championship. Stokes to Paolo. Good block by Gomes underneath, but it stays with the Sky Force. Excellent possession for Du, sending an extra player in Vander Blue at Stokes. He finds Paolo under the basket, but again, the defense still quick enough to collapse and recover. Magruder catch and shoot. Battle for the rebound. He comes to Stokes, who follows up his own miss. And, and that's something we didn't see a lot out of the Sky Force, where they normally dominate the offensive glass. It was the Los Angeles team. The Sky Force getting second chance looks early on will be a big difference maker. Vander Blue nearly threw it away. Under 10 on the timer. The Jet had 16 points and 10 assists, a double double in game two. Justin Harper had back to back 21 point performances, misses his first look. Sky Force off to the races. Beautiful break. The open court is where the Sky make plays like that. Yesterday, he wasn't as aggressive. He was looking to pass off. I like the way that he's got his mindset on getting to the group early on. First two games, it was LA that got off to a great start. Here in the decisive game three, it's Sioux Falls up 8 nothing with Jarnell Stokes having six points. Magruder got fouled. And, and what a He's been spectacular in what he's been able to do. Known for his defensive ability, but offensively. He's a 3 and D guy, can hit a three-pointer, but now he's been in more of attack mode. Averaging just about six more free throw attempts per game during these playoffs. Second year pro out of Kansas State. Ryan Gomes can't hit off glass. Sioux Falls in the form of DeAndre Liggins running. Back of the iron on a three. Sioux Falls with the decided rebounding advantage in this series. Majet, though, with a steal, led the league in that category during the regular season. Josh Majet watched by Rodney Magruder in a must-win game two. And they really haven't figured out a way to stop Vander Blue. We saw Magruder start out on Vander. In game one and game two, now they're trying Liggins to see what he can do to slow him down. Ryan Gomes over Jarnell Stokes. And it goes without saying, at this point in the ball game, given the depth of the Sky Force, you got to make sure that you cut into this lead and don't let Sioux Falls gain confidence and get a comfortable lead to be able to use their bench to their advantage. Casey Owens does not call an early timeout, allows his team to and when Stokes is so deep, it's hard to throw those traps and throw those extra bodies on him, and he's had his way early on. We see the finished product, but how important is the location of the catch for Stokes? Huge, huge. Yeah, I mean, it's everything. Stokes, baseline drive, spins, and scores. I tell you what, he, he's showing off. Not just ability to be dominant inside, but, but they're just putting the ball on the floor, reading his defense. He said he's got strength, but also he likes to think that he's a finesse big as well. So a little bit of that with a foot speed. Reset here for Vander Blue. Mismatch against Jarnell Stokes. He'll take Stokes to the rim, but miss the layup. Collapsing D by Sioux Falls leads to the transition opportunity. Magruder to Liggins. Now it's Paolo on the crossover, gets underneath. Offensive rebound from three. Good box out of Stokes by Harper for the rebound. Gomes to Andre Ingram. In and out from three. Put a suit on him, you'd think he was calling the game. I think we gotta be careful. Yeah, that, that, is, the, that is the case with a handful of these players. Looked way too relaxed for a game three. Winnington strokes a three. Carry over from what we saw last night. Stepping up, knocking down open shots. 
speaking of X factors, he's the guy in the Sky Force team that brings that off the bench. How much attention defensively my teammates are going to be opening with a team like Sioux Falls. He's got guys that can knock down those open shots. Into Stokes, there comes Blue again. Ball movement to Magruder. Rebounded there by Michael Holyfield. Came off the bench in game two with eight big rebounds. LA needs some type of production from their bench. The Jet driving against Stokes, just throws one up and gets the roll. A little English on that one, but what a finish by Majet. And I like the aggressiveness, taking it to the basket when there was no real other options on that play. Paolo drives to the rim, draws the attention, and Stokes on the weak side sticks it back. Transition here for Sioux Falls but it's stopped by Majette, stepping into a three. Long rebound to Magruder. The lead is eight for Sioux Falls. Their biggest advantage in that game two loss was just six. Late whistle. He's playing like an MVP here tonight, and we talked about the way the defenders mixed up the looks in the defensive just energy they brought towards him in game two. But Stokes is doing the same thing at them offensively, mixing up the looks, the way that he's attacking the basket, and, and how he's moving and creating buckets for himself and also for his teammates. Vander Blue is getting the mismatch against Stokes, just can't take advantage. Kick out Whittington and Michael Holyfield a good pass. The LA job opened up because Connor Henry, who was supposed to be the head coach of the defenders this season, earned a job as an assistant with the Orlando Magic. It's not just the players, but the coaches also looking for that call up. DJ Schumpert with a good block of spikes. And while Sioux Falls... ...with one another, an impressive group, but it does start with Casey Owens. I think we've seen it in practices, speaking with him, the attitude that he brings. Air ball at the end of the shot clock. Lead for Sioux Falls is eight. They jumped out to a 10-0 start to begin the game. The Jet driving. The kick out to Harper. The outside shooting so important in game two. It's not there in game three. Vander Blue can't hit from the outside. Contrast because of their limitations in depth and also because the way the Sky Force team plays, wanting to slow things down to a half more game. Hollow uses the screen. Murray pump fakes from a three. Spikes keeps it alive. Quarters of a minute to go in the first. Ingram rattles one in. Seven point game. Two seconds to go. Liggins to Paolo. Beat the buzzer, but it's off the iron. No good. Back in 2014 for Oklahoma City. Had a couple of stints overseas. And he thought this year his best option would be to play in the D League. He joined L.A. in January and earned the Impact Player of the Year award for the D-League. We can't ask for much more out of Ryan Gomes. And he said, I, I didn't want people and want myself to say, whatever happened to Ryan Gomes? Does he have anything left? He said, I wanted to leave the game on my own terms. And certainly not to say that this is the last year that he will be playing. But he put on a show for the D-League and for plenty to see during these playoffs. Rodney Magruder scores to open up the second half. And so in Gomes, you're losing a big body, a big score, and a huge veteran presence that so many of these younger players looked up to. Yeah, I mean, he is a guy that has just shown a professionalism. And he said, I like to teach these guys what it means to play in the D League, to be an NBA player, and what it means to be a professional. Josh Majette on the pull up. And I don't care how many players that this Los Angeles team continues to lose, I, I promise you we're going to see them fight till the end because we have seen that throughout the playoffs. Impressive in just their grittiness and the moxie that they bring to the floor. 
DJ Shumper taking the place of Ryan Gomes to start the third quarter. Justin Harper with a weak side block. And the shot clock expires. Said about the growth of the D-League and, and also just a player maturing and understanding maybe where his career is at, what's left for him. It, and that's what he said. It, it was being older, it was being more mature, and it was making a decision during the first round and then in the finals against Austin. And just two points here tonight, a big piece missing for the Los Angeles team that relies so heavily on their stars. The path to the championship for Sioux Falls has just opened up in a big way as Jarnell Stokes scores from the outside. His first bucket of these finals, not in the paint. And you don't want to overlook Stokes. Stokes on the floor with three fouls. Magruder, Liggins, Trollick, Stokes, and Paolo. Shumpert rebounds, playing in the front court with Harper, Ingram, Blue, and Majette, the rest of the five. Paolo, crossover against Majette. Paolo shows why he's... Inside to Trowick. League history, they could not close the deal in three games. Sioux Falls broke that record this season with 40 regular season wins, and now they're trying to take down LA for the title. And a turnover there, but it's been a core of guys with the Sky Force team that it has created the depth that we see, but also the understanding of the offense, what Dan Craig is trying to run systematically, both defensively and offensively, and they executed so very well. Collected by Sioux Falls, Jabril Trollick on the move. Liggins out to Trollick. Stokes from the outside. Once again, it's that outside shot that he emphasized to us he's been working on, he's been improving, wants to show that he has more of just an inside game and that he could knock down that face-up 15-footer. And that's gonna, that's gonna be the biggest aspect that, that NBA scouts and GMs, coaches are gonna look at. Can he do more to pull defenders out, not only hit that outside shot, but also create more for himself inside because of it. Makes the kick out to Paolo, and it lipped out. Blue, wraparound pass. Holyfield puts it on the deck, missing the layup. Extra pass to Ingram, leans in for two. And the tough shooting evening for LA continues here into the third quarter. And you can't say it enough. You got to wonder how those minutes, the type of minutes these starters have played, not just during these final series, but the entire postseason has begun to wear on them. Stokes with the mismatch against Blue, just shoots right over the top and connects again. He's feeling it six points in this third quarter, and all three of those field goals have been perimeter face-up shots. He told us that his game does include those types of maneuvers, but his team needed him to be a post presence, and that was what was going to win games. And on the final day of the D-League season, we're seeing a complete game for Jarnell Stokes. It is, and he said that he came in to this year understanding the type of development he needs. He said, I didn't have that mindset my rookie year, but now I'm starting to learn habits. I saw a pass from Trout to Paolo, but his size, obviously, he brings a strength. He throws his body around. He goes after it on the boards. But the knock against him is his size. And it's not just that, because he can play in the league at that size with his strength. But he needs to develop that outside game. And it looks like he's starting to do that. Pins Vander Blue. Two. But at this point, it's an uphill climb for this LA team, given their numbers. Trollick, a three. Them an understanding how to put together the best group of five guys in the rotation you need to be most effective throughout games. And Craig has done an impressive job with that. 
Stokes against Majette. Takes the smaller defender to the basket. Prove something. Prove that he not only is MVP of the D-League, but what's going to happen to him this offseason in the summer and trying to get himself on an NBA roster. From the fields and the three jump shots he hit in this third quarter, the only three field goals of the finals to come outside of the paint. Paolo goes high for the lay-in. And for a guy like Stokes, you know, creating your niche offensively, but also working on your game defensively, defending the pick and roll. Can he be a guy in the NBA that has a type of movement and foot skill to play inside, play a stretch four? Whittington leads the break. Throws one up, no. Redirected to Harper of LA. Foul on the perimeter. Bubu brought a smile to his face to think about how far he's come in terms of his individual development. It's crazy to think what can happen in a year, but he said, <laughs> nice dunk by. She can talk player to player on the Sky Force team. There's so much talent as we see Wiggins drain the three on the other end. 20 point lead for Sioux Falls. Ingram lost the dribble. Here's Magruder. Kick out Liggins, wants another three. In and out. Up ahead to Blue. Euro step in the lane. Let's go, the Heat. Aaron Club of Sioux Falls. For the last three years, the exclusive affiliate, and they've made the playoffs each year. Entry into Stokes. Majette gets underneath. Well, Josh Majette has earned the attention of this Skyforce crowd. Skip to Liggins. You can't get a better contest than that. On Josh Majette running at Liggins, as Liggins from deep still drains it. Second differential between game and shot clock. Schumpert sets the screen. Pull up, Vander Blue. Off the iron, no, collected with three seconds left. Magruder at the buzzer would not have counted. Sky Force team is so loaded with potent scores that Stokes drawing that attention opens things up for his teammates. And it just made this team so difficult to guard and obviously a major reason why they were able to set that D-League regular season record. Injury in game two, second half. L.A. did not have Ryan Gomes. And that effectively ended their chances to take game three on the road. Extra pass to Murray. Stokes the offensive rebound. Winnington opts to take more time off the clock. Trawick against Jumper. Murray. Winnington with seven on the timer. Works against Harper. Trawick for three. Offensive rebound, Boo Boo Palo. to the MVP, kick out Murray. Paolo takes it, defended well by Ingram, but he knocks it off of his own man. His choice was to come back to Sioux Falls. Is that a major factor in that, of course, the winning and knowing that this was a place where he could continue to improve. Vander Blue working against Benson. Blows right by him and then misses the layup. Just that type of night for both sides. Paulo to Trowick and an exclamation point here in Sioux Falls.
the Sky Force. Started every single playoff game, and Sioux Falls will end the postseason with a 6-1 record. Benson the block. Blue lines up for three, well short. Numbers for Sioux Falls. Andrew Blue trying to walk it off as Trawick got to the rim. Jamal Branch has checked in for the first time in these finals. Off glass and good. This is the turning point in his career. He appreciates the confidence that he felt like he regained and also the understanding of not just scoring points, but scoring points in the context of helping your team to win heading into tonight's game three. By relying on their starting five, and on the final day of the season, the defenders just simply ran out of bodies and ran out of gas. What more can you ask for out of a team to leave it all on the floor? I mean, that, that's what they all had said. So we see some tears from Josh McJet, but uh, just wanting to know that they, they gave it everything that they had. They said if, if that's what they do, then they can leave feeling satisfied. Branch gets to the rim again, under three minutes to go. But for the Sky Force, a team that just continued to set records as the seed speech that really jolted the Sky Force team in the third quarter to take complete control of this contest. Stokes with 25 and 12. Liggins with back-to-back double-doubles. 11 points, 10 rebounds to close out the D-League Finals. Approaching two minutes to go in game three. Seven on the timer. Benson from deep. Cleared away by Shumpert. For the second time in four seasons, LA will fall short in the championship. For Sioux Falls, making their first appearance in the finals, and they're two minutes away from their first D League title. Saved by Paolo. Wrap around pass, looking for spikes. Numbers for LA. Ingram gets to a good spot on the, and against the best competition in the postseason, they're going to win six of seven. It's, it's been unbelievable to watch. And again, that all starts at the top and give credit to what Dan Craig has done coming over for his first season as head coach and understanding what this organization is about. On their home floor in front of these fans. They gave the fans plenty to cheer about. And these fans certainly came, packed the place, and have brought energy from start to finish. Shot clock is off. 